Welcome to the learning video of the Video Teach project which introduces you to the methods that help you protect your content. You will learn more about types of protection of the content and privacy settings. Enjoy! It is very important to protect the content created on social media and other open platforms. It is important for content creators to protect their work from unwanted situations such as unauthorized use, copying, or modification. Protection measures ensure that the content is used correctly and that the rights of the creator are protected. Confidentiality and security, in particular. Intellectual property rights. Preventing unauthorized use. Protecting the quality and integrity of content. Brand and reputation protection. For many reasons, such as social media and other open platforms, content creators must protect the content they create. This protection helps protect the rights of the creator, the safety and quality of the content and prevents negative consequences. When it comes to protecting created content on social media and other open platforms, there are several types of protection and sharing methods that can be employed. Here are some common ones. First, privacy settings. Second, copyright and intellectual property. Third, terms of service. Fourth, creative commons licenses. Fifth, watermarking. Sixth, limited sharing. Seventh, digital rights management, DRM. And eighth, monitoring and reporting. Privacy settings, also known as privacy preferences or privacy controls, refer to the options and features available in digital platforms, services, or applications that allow users to control and manage the privacy of their personal information and online activities. It's important to note that privacy settings may differ among platforms and services, and users should regularly review and update their preferences to ensure their privacy preferences align with their expectations and needs. Copyright is the legal rights granted to the creators of original works, such as books, music, films, artwork, software, and others. Copyright provides creators with exclusive rights to copy, distribute, display, adapt, or commercially exploit their works. It ensures that the efforts and intellectual property of creators are respected and financially supported. Copyright protection is granted for a specific duration, which varies according to laws and agreements between countries. Typically, copyright lasts for a certain period of time after the creator's death, and then the work enters the public domain, meaning it can be freely used by anyone. Copyright encourages the preservation of cultural and artistic works, provides financial benefits to creators, and supports the protection of intellectual property rights. Social media platforms and internet environment typically have terms of service or terms and conditions agreements that outline the rules and guidelines for using their platforms. These agreements often include clauses on content ownership, usage rights, and penalties for copyright infringement. The person must agree to abide by the terms of service in order to use the offered service. Terms of service can also be merely a disclaimer, especially regarding the use of websites. Creative Commons licenses are a set of copyright licenses that allow creators to specify the permissions and restrictions for their creative work. These licenses provide a flexible and standardized way to grant permissions beyond the default, all rights reserved, copyright approach. Creative Commons licenses offer several options that allow creators to determine how others can use their work. The key components of CC licenses include Attribution, BY, license which requires others to give appropriate credit to the original creator when using the work. Share alike, SA, license which allows others to modify and distribute the work, but they must distribute it under the same or a similar license as the original work. Non-commercial, NC, permits others to use the work for non-commercial purposes only. No derivatives, ND, license allows others to distribute the work, but they cannot modify it or create derivative works based on it. By combining these components, creators can choose from six main Creative Commons licenses. CCBY, CCBYSA, CCBYNC, CCBYND, CCBYNCSA, and CCBYNCND. Each license provides different permissions and restrictions, allowing creators to maintain control over their work while granting others the freedom to use it under certain conditions. Watermarking is a visible or invisible mark added to an image or video to indicate ownership, prevent unauthorized use, or protect the originality of the content. Watermarks are typically added as logos, text, or symbols overlaid on the content. Visible watermarks are easily noticeable by viewers. Invisible watermarks, on the other hand, are embedded through the pixels or metadata of the content and may not be visible to the naked eye. Limited sharing, 
refers to the practice of restricting the sharing of content to a specific group of people or a selected audience. Instead of making content available to the general public, limited sharing allows the content to be accessible only by a defined set of individuals. This approach is often employed in situations where content creators or users want to maintain a higher level of privacy or control over who can view or access their content. By limiting the sharing, they can ensure that the content is seen only by a targeted audience, such as close friends, family members, or a specific professional network. Digital rights management is a set of technologies used to protect digital content from unauthorized access, copying, distribution, or modification. DRM systems are designed to enforce copyright protection and provide control over how your digital content is used. DRM generally involves the use of encryption and access control mechanisms to protect digital content. Encryption algorithms scramble the content, making it accessible and decryptable only by authorized persons with the appropriate decryption key. Access control mechanisms, such as digital licenses or rights management systems, apply to control who can access and use the content. DRM can be applied to various types of digital content. It helps prevent piracy and unauthorized sharing by restricting the ability to make unauthorized copies or distribute content without proper authorization. While these measures help protect content to a certain extent, no method is completely safe. Users should always be cautious when sharing their content online, especially considering the features and limitations of certain platforms, as well as the nature of the content shared. Thank you very much for watching this learning video. If you like it, you can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project VideoTeach at videoteach.eu. All the content of this project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.